Do you want to know what the Doppler effect is? Well, if you do, you're in the right place. I'm David, welcome to Astrofocus, where we explore the universe in great detail. Have you ever noticed when listening to a Formula One car or a passing ambulance or a police car with its siren on? As it gets nearer, the sound of its engine is at a higher pitch, and when it passes and disappears, its sounds are at a lower pitch. If you haven't, here's exactly that. As the car approaches, the sound waves from its engine are shortened towards the observer because it will be nearer to the observer when it emits the next wave crest. The intervals between waves decrease, which also means the frequency or pitch will increase. As the car speeds away, the sound waves are stretched relative to the observer because it will be further away to you as it emits the next wave crest causing the engine's pitch to decrease. This is the Doppler effect. The Austrian mathematician and physicist Christian Doppler discovered this change in pitch which results from a shift in the frequency of the sound waves. It works for sound waves and for light waves. Astronomers use this to study the movement of celestial bodies in the universe. So, let's take this to space. So any object that's moving that emits electromagnetic radiation also shows the Doppler effect. For example, let's use a star. If this star is moving towards us, the radiation emitted is shortened and its frequency appears to increase. This is said to be blue shifted because in visible light, the colour is at the blue end of the spectrum. Similarly, if the star is moving away, the radiation emitted is lengthened or red shifted because the visible light is at the red end of the spectrum. One of the reasons of why this is, is because the further away a galaxy is, the longer its light has travelled to reach us. And so, the more its wavelength has been stretched over time. From this, like the car analogy, the blue shifts and the red shifts shown by stars, galaxies and gas clouds also tell us their motion relative to the observer. A guy called Vestal Slifer first observed this in 1917 that the spectra of many of the distant objects in the cosmos are redshifted. Edwin Hubble later realised that this is due to the fact that the objects are moving away from us. So. If you've got any questions leave them in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video hit that like button and subscribe for more content. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you later.